Hello, everyone. My name is John Bossart. I'm an HPE Business Transformation Center engineer for Ingram Micro. I help support servers, blade systems, storage, as well as networking technology solutions from HPE. In my videos, what I like to do is show you a slide from a popular PowerPoint and then demonstrate to you what that means within a management interface. Today, though, we're going to do something a little bit different. And what we're going to do is unbox a couple of the new Aruba Instant On Access ports. Now, the new Aruba Instant On portfolio doesn't necessarily replace anything within the Aruba product portfolio today. What it does is augment their offerings within the SMB space or the small and medium business space. So this solution is really meant for networks with 100 users or less, and it's certainly priced accordingly. So there is a series of indoor access points. So it's the Instant On AP11 would be the two by two, two spatial stream access point. There's the Instant On AP12, which is a three by three, three spatial stream access point, as well as what we'll be unboxing today, which is the Instant On AP15, which is a four by four, four spatial stream access point. All these access points are based off of 802.11 AC Wave 2 technology. Um, now, um, the other one, access point that we're going to be unboxing today is going to be the hospitality access point, and this would be the brother to the AP11, so and this will be the Instant On AP11D. So this access point is really meant to be, be set on a desk or, or mounted on a wall. On the bottom of this access point are some switching ports as well as a PoE pass-through port. If you have any outdoor needs, there's also the Instant On AP17 that's available. Right. Another value add uh, into the solution is going to be the simplistic nature of being able to manage and set up this environment. Right. Um, there is a mobile app that you can download either from the Google Store or the Apple Store that allow you to kind of click your way through and set up this through a simplistic fashion. There's also a cloud portal that allows you to be able to manage this solution as well. And you're free to, to move between um, those two solutions. I also think it's important to note that there is absolutely no subscription that is required for the cloud-based portal. So this solution, um, HPE is expecting you to maybe cluster this in around 10 access points, so you can bring up 10 of them together on the same network and cluster them together. It certainly can grow larger um, all the way up to 25. Um, this solution also has mesh technology available. So with all that being said, let's unbox our Instant on AP15 as well as our Instant on AP11D. Okay, here's our Aruba Instant on access points. We're gonna be working with two of them today. We're gonna to be working with an AP15 here. All right, and this would be a four by four with, with four spatial streams. And then we're gonna be working with an AP 11D, and this would be a two by two um, or two spatial streams um, on this guy here. Um, we're gonna take a look at, at the AP15 first, so let me push that guy aside. Let's open up this access point here. Right. On top, we have a startup guide. Right. It's not a real lot inside this guide. There is a link to where the documentation, through a QR code or through a web link, right. This product is made to be real easy. I would say you almost don't need any documentation really to set that up. Um, the information that you really want to set that up is, is on this card here. And basically what it's saying is, is power this guy up, plug it into a switch, All right, wait for the light to, to flash green and amber, then go on your favorite Android or iOS device, download the Instant On application, and then configure this guy um, on the back is if you're going to add additional access points to the cluster. Um, the product's meant, you know, for SMB people, so they're looking at about 10 access points in a cluster. They say you can go up to 25 if you want to, though. Right. So there's that document. And then up here is the safety, compliance, and warranty information. There's not a real lot of that information inside this document. If you're interested in a warranty or the legals around that, this might be a good document piece of documentation to look through. Um, I haven't really gone through it quite a bit, um, but some people who are, have a legal focus might. Um, here's the actual access point here. Pull this guy out. Let's get it out of the wrapper real quick. All right, 
in the front. It's got an information LED as well as a wireless signal LED. All right. It's not a real lot on the sides. All right. Here, there is a USB port on this guy on the top. Um, if I look at the back, you'll see here is the Ethernet port as well as the uh, PoE source, Kensington key lock if you happen to use that. Um, and if you're not using PoE from your switch, here is an AC adapter port. And over here is the mechanism for mounting. So let's set this guy aside over here. The first mounting bracket they have is this one here. And this kind of clips into the ceiling tile mechanism. And it'll go into this here. And then clip on. There is another, another mounting kit inside this guy underneath here as well as an Ethernet cable. So if we look a little deeper here, you'll see the other mounting kit. And the, this mounting kit is meant to be screwed in somewhere. right? And again, it just clips onto this access point again. All right, so that's our AP15. So let's set this guy aside and let's Let's look at the hospitality focused AP11D. All right, so let's let's open up this guy here. Again, we got the same startup guide on top. All right, not much in this guy. Again, link to some documentation. And this is meant to be an easy to set up device. We've got our welcome card and the method for being able to set that up. Again, if we're adding multiples into a cluster, you can mix and match these devices if you want to in the same cluster. Warranty compliance and safety guide. All right, and then here's our, our actual access point here. It's already on a stand. I'm going to take this guy out of the wrapper here. All right, so this guy's meant to stand up by itself. All right, kind of look around this guy real quick. USB port here. If you want to power up besides PoE, there's your connection there. If you're familiar with the hospitality access points, um, you'll see all these connections on the bottom. Um, there's not a lot inside the documentation on this. If, if you know um, about um, the hospitality access point, you'll know that the PT or uh, E0 port, that's where you'd put your... PoE connection in, and generally speaking, the rest of these are switched ports, and the red one is a pass-through for the PoE, so you could power something like a phone or something like that. That's generally speaking what they're used for. On the top, you have an informational LED right down here, the wireless LED, as well as the power LED up there. Now, also in the box, if we look underneath, we're going to see an Ethernet cable as well as a wall mounting plate. And here's some screws for the wall mounting plate there. All right, so what you do is you'd unscrew those two screws there, and this will kind of pop off the back, and then it'll allow you to be able to fit into that wall mounting bracket there. So those are the new instant on access points, in particular the AP15 as well as the, the AP11D. I hope you found this video informative and please stay tuned for more videos.